Hey fellow adventurers, welcome back to the world of Nurath. I am TBC and can you believe now we have a new TLP server launching in under two weeks now. It's getting so close that server is of course Oakwind. Uh, Oakwind go winding it all the way back to how it used to be in 1999 just with all the the mod cons the quality of life improvements that we've had along the way that will be live that you don't necessarily get on P99 but we're here in classic you get to play them straight away things like auto skill and uh, the UI being better and maps being available all that kind of fun stuff just to just to name a few now on this server there are a few unique um, factors to it that we've not seen before on a TLP server such as the evolving rule set where things um, and bonuses change and improve over time and what the biggest one that they're testing on this is the encounter locking the first to engage and that's what we are looking at today I've made a character just to mess around with in the noob zone over on the test server just so I can get a feel on what it's look what it how it plays what it looks like and to show you all as well so let's head on over all right here we go so I've just made a very quick character on the test server nothing fancy I don't have anything huge set up or, um, or elaborate groups to test out every single situation instead I just wanted to show you how the locking works as you can see I've encountered the snake and its names turned green which means it should or and it is it's locked to me so if somebody else ran up and tried to hit on there they wouldn't do any damage it'd be like it's invulnerable to them which is which is good which is what exactly it should do um, and as we come over, you'll see there's a pawn. Hi, Mr. Pawn. And we'll see what we can do against him. And again, name turns green. He's locked to me. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run to the guards. And what should happen, what normally happens here, is I'm running to the guards because I need help. The guard should kill it for me. Okay. Because, you know, orcs, the guards don't like orcs wandering around their town attacking the the inhabitants and no nothing the guards just stand there and are watching they they ain't they ain't moving they're not helping me they're not killing this pawn um that that could be a bit of an issue that could lead to just huge trains of pawns and stuff running around and being trained around the the city um yeah that's interesting there we go um, it's on the test server, so it can be a little bit buggy. Uh, and it seems to lag more than any other server, but we'll try another one. Here's another pawn. Again, you'll see it turns green, it locks to me. So, it, on its base level, it's working as intended. The name turns green, the encounter is locked to me. Easy, right? And I'll just double check to make sure that it wasn't me. Uh, maybe I'll see what's going on here's the pawn coming in so as you can see one of the biggest features that they said um, you will be able to do to get help on a locked encounter isn't working right now on test now I'll give them a little bit of slack here what they said is on test right now isn't the final uh, version of it but I mean, come on! This server launches in less than two weeks, <laughs> so it's uh, it's a bit shocking to see. If this was a build from like two months ago, fair enough. But this is supposed to be going live in ten days. So here we go, a red centurion. Again, no one's helping me. I'm in big trouble here because a red centurion is going to absolutely wreck a level one monk. As you can see, it's going to kill me. Now. When it kills me, let's see what happens. So I'm dead. I'm gonna respawn right here. And oh, see, it's all, it's still locked to me. You see that the name was still green. So even though I have died and respawned, the encounter is still locked to me. Which could lead to some interesting death loops. We'll see. 
So he's going to kill me again. The guards, again, just let him stroll on by. You know, an orc should not be able to walk through the city gates like that. Um, he's just walking off after killing me. Guards just, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're on strike or something. Cost of living increases. They want a bigger salary. And then, yeah, this orc is just, he's just beating on me. Guards, are you doing anything? Are you just going to stand and watch? I'm going to type in yell and I'm going to keep on dying. Otherwise, you know, this locked encounter, this isn't how it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to have to wait a minute just to see what happens. Otherwise, he's just going to beat on me again. There we go. Let's, oh, no, he aggroed again. But, uh, say this isn't one mob. Say this is like 50. I could keep all the mobs in the newbie zone. Kind of locked down, locked to me, die. Respawn straight away, die. They'll come charging at me again because they're locked, die. Um, and I'm just wanting to make sure that it, maybe someone's broke with those guards and I'm going to take this orc through the town. Yeah, no one's, he's just locked to me and he'll, looks like he'll just, Kind of chase me indefinitely. Hmm. Don't think this is what I would expect to see um, as being ready to be implemented on a live server in less than two weeks. I'm hoping that, I don't know, there's been some extra dev time on this because, it, yeah, this I'm only doing this one mob, but you could do this with like 50 just take them all through the zone and the guards will, will happily let you it's uh it's kind of crazy so again let's just see what happens when i kill him away from the gate he's gonna kill me eventually he's gonna kill me okay so i'm dead i'm gonna respawn uh in just a sec let's get that going here we go we're back out gate let's find our rock so there's some guards around there's our rock he's no longer locked to me so he's pathing back he's unlocked and he's not locked to me now so anyone could attack him or he could attack anyone and is there something wrong with the test server or the guards just don't care it's so so strange why are the guards just letting this orc just stroll around the city like a you know, he kind of kind of looks like he owns the place right now. This orc, it's like level four orc is like a uh, bothering it, just walking through the city gates without a care in the world. As guards pop in and out, <laughs> yeah, and there's those two guards still there, just letting this orc just go about his day. No rush to him, and he's unlocked. So that's interesting. Because there was a bit of time uh, on that one when I, right before I respawned, uh, and then when we caught up with him, he was unlocked. Let's go see. So, yellow skull. I'm just after seeing what we can kill. That's a snake. Let's get him locked down. There we go. So this snake is locked to me. Although on its very basic level, it works. Right? Very basic level, it works. The problem is this game is, it doesn't operate just on a basic level. There's, you know, a ton of things that kind of go in into it. Um, so again, bat, fine, no issues, locked. I want to test something in a minute, though. Yeah, no problem. No problem, it's like, just killing stuff like this. Counter locking, fine. No one was ever going to mess with you on this, though, so I... I just don't necessarily see the point. I think this is a very complex fix for something that could have been done so simpler. Like, yes, it works, but did we did we really need this? Is this exactly what we were wanting to get from this server? You know, not me, and I 
think of the whole load of the population would, would agree. I mean, we've seen so many games move away from uh, encounter locking in World of Warcraft now, where you know you can hit something in, you, know, you get your own personal loot out of it. So I again very quick test just to see what it looks like and how it will play on a very kind of standard or basic level now there are people who have done a lot more testing on it than i have and there are problems some big problems the whole point of this is to basically stop people griefing you or stop people training and so on and that's not exactly what it's doing right now um, there's some very simple ways to kind of break or force a locked mob to break um, the easiest one is to have a cleric cast a big big heal and how this works is it puts the cleric on on the hate list if the mob decides to hit someone on its hate list that's outside of the lock and it can so a cleric doing a big heal will put it pretty close to the top if not at the top of the hate list as you know the mob's going to turn around and start hitting that cleric especially when it sits down and when it does that and it attacks someone from outside the lock the lock goes away it's like it doesn't exist and that mob is open for grabs so your killing frenzy in lower gook a somebody else comes along with a cleric casts a heal on on your tank uh, a large heal and then goes to the mob and sits down the mob's gonna hit the cleric and when it does that it's gonna unlock frenzy they can come along with their necro and e-bolt it and you lose so the whole point of this was to stop that kind of greeting behavior and as it stands right now today on test server it's gonna do absolutely nothing uh, to help that there's also there's other kind of bugs like you got a monk that's pulling say they go LD or log off or drop the group um, the lock goes with them whoever initially got that FTE but the mob will still be beating on the rest of your group and you can't do anything about it because it's not it's not locked to you um, and it will just keep beating on your group and there's nothing you can do so again griefing possibilities there or just through simple um, going link dead as we know that can happen quite a lot in this game so with less than two weeks to go the the devs are saying yeah okay what's live on test right now isn't um, the final kind of build of it you know that kind of would make sense if the uh, test build right now was like say locked in a month ago and and when the patch day for um, EQ live comes out we'll get an updated version uh, I mean who knows as it stands right now I'm I'm deeply concerned by how this uh, FTE this encounter locking is gonna go um, I'm hoping for the best um, I will be playing on Oakwind um, so we'll see we'll see what happens um, I'll be there first hand to kind of uh, experience it all the all the craziness and you know what I kind of go into it you know very chilled so if people are griefing and messing around with the uh, uh, the locks then I'll just be there for the spectacle um, and hope you all will be too other than that that's kind of where things stand with Oakwind I really don't think the devs at this point I'm gonna change the rule set at all I think they're very very set and have been for some time on testing this encounter locking and first to engage and all that that goes along with it um, if anything does change I will of course let you know as soon as I can we will have plenty of videos uh, coming up as we get closer and into Oakwind's launch there's a few more things I would certainly love to do and if you don't want to miss that um, I'd really appreciate it if you want to hit that subscribe button down below it really does help uh, me to continue making these videos and to grow the channel and of course leave a like as well um, if you want to let me know in the comments are you going to be playing on Oakwind does this server excite you do you think that the encounter locking will actually be a good thing is this your first time playing uh, TLP let me know down below I've heard people say you know what 
I'm going to wait for next year, for the big 25th year. They're bound to do a good TLP. And then I was thinking, well, 20 years, the 20th year anniversary, what, what was it then? Were they that good? Mangler? Ugh. Seelos? Okay. Uh, Seelos was a good one. So who knows? Maybe next year we will get a super awesome server rule set. Um, that's all I've got time for for this video. I wish to thank you for watching. And I am the Brit Canuck and I hope that you have a fantastic day.